So let's talk a little bit specifically about the U.S. market. We've got some new spectrum that's uh, going to quickly come online here in 2020, uh, maybe most notably the 3.5 CBRS band as we approach a PAL auction scheduled for June. What are your expectations for the market development and uh, what's Airspan doing to address those opportunities? So what, we're very lucky to have deployed some of the largest small cell networks in the world. Uh, we, we have both indoor and outdoor form factors and, and very mature software, which is in, well into its 18th release, that we've been able to adapt for the CBRS market. And we've been doing active trials for the last 18 months uh, and have made a lot of headway there with some, with some good wins in the meantime. So from the experience that we've had and we, we, we can leverage for the, the networks which we've deployed heavily in the United States as well as the rest of the world, we, can br we look forward to bringing those solutions to market. And they're all uh, certified and ready to go in terms of Ongo and FCC. So those, those products are ready and off the shelf uh, and have already started to be uh, distributed through our channel partners. And we're also in 2020 expecting some development around 2.6 gigahertz. And uh, I know this is a band that you guys have a lot of experience with. That's correct. We have some of the largest TDD 2.6 deployments um, in, in the U.S. And, and in the world, uh, both on indoor and outdoor. Uh, we have uh, strand mounted solutions. We have mini macro solutions, 20 watts. We've got indoor. Uh, Femto solutions, uh, most notably you know, a large deployment in the Magic Box, which uses the 2.6 TDD band. Uh, and in general, TDD is, is a place where we have a strong, a strong uh, wheelhouse in terms of both uh, the 2.x 2, 2 band and the 3.x band. And we're really looking forward to taking such a, an, an award-winning set of products and making those available to the U.S. market. And as a U.S. RAN vendor, it's something we're really proud to do. There's a lot of ongoing debate around the role of Chinese telecom infrastructure vendors uh, in global networks, particularly as we transition from LTE to 5G. I'm curious how that dynamic presents opportunities for Airspan. Well, as a U.S. vendor, we are poised to take advantage of that, uh, and we're you know we're looking forward to the opportunity for to provide operators with the peace of mind that they require in these times to deploy without giving it a second thought. Um, and that's something we, we're ready to do today.